Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm doing an initial impressions video of the Glock 21 versus the 1911. Okay, so um, I'm calling it an initial impressions video because even though I've had this 1911 for more than uh, 12 years, it's got more than 15,000 rounds on it. I've done previous reviews on this. Um, this is, this uh, Glock 21 I just recently built and this is my first Glock 21, okay? Uh, so it's initial impressions more from the side of the Glock 21. And, and the reason why I, you know, like initially, like as soon as I built this thing, I'm like, wow, I, I seriously got to do a video on this is because as soon as I picked up this gun, this gun felt heavy. Uh, and then I was like, wow, I don't remember my 1911 feeling that heavy. And then I picked up the 1911 and it, it, it didn't feel so heavy, but then I put it on the scale, All right? So when I put it on this scale over here, empty, uh, the 1911 is actually much heavier, okay? So the G21 unloaded is one pound, 10 ounces, okay? Uh, versus the 1911 unloaded, uh, two pounds six ounces okay so uh, you know initially i was like well okay how, how is this happening okay uh, why is the g21 feel like it's heavier than the 1911 although the 1911 is is a, basically like what a full almost a full pound heavier um and it would the, the reason is because the 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 g21 is more top heavy right You've got this big slide over here on top of the plastic frame, uh, which basically, if you hold the gun like this, like it seriously wants to like, you know, fall over versus the 1911, which has, you know, the, the bottom frame is, is more, you know, is metal. You know, it doesn't, it's not so top heavy. It feels more well balanced when it's, you know, when, when, when you're holding it in your hand. But the uh, the difference is when you put in a loaded magazine, okay, because when you because remember the uh, the Glock 21, uh, uh, you know, 13 round magazine, when you put this into the gun, all of a sudden it balances out because you've got now, you know, 13 rounds of 45 ACP, you know, the gun comes into balance. So that, that's uh, something that really stood out for me versus with the 1911. You only get an eight round magazine, so it's not adding that much weight. So and that doesn't really affect the, the balance of this gun. Um, so that's something interesting. I found that really, really interesting. Um, and more than anything, that's really the whole point of this video. Although we're gonna, we will do a, a, a bunch of more things here. Uh, but let me do this. Um, what I did here is, let, let me zoom you guys in a little bit. And um, let me pause the camera. Okay, so. On this table here, first gun, uh, the G21, 1911. By the way, that is a Taurus 1911. Uh, the G21 is an aftermarket. I won't say its name. The This one over here is a uh, Glock 22. Uh, that's a factory frame. The only thing that's, uh, that's aftermarket on that is the slide. Um, I, I chose to do it this way. So that's got an aftermarket slide on it so that I can, uh, so I could put an optic on it. Uh, and over here is a, uh, a G17. Okay, you guys seen this G17 before, okay? So we're gonna be shooting um, these four guns today. And I'm gonna tell you, you know, basically we're looking to, we're gonna be looking at the recoil and how much the gun moves around when I'm shooting it one-handed in my offhand. But before we get to that, um, on this chart over here, what I did is uh, I listed the four guns and uh, on the left, uh, where it says empty, I weighed the gun without a magazine and over here, uh, full, right? So the G21 came in at uh, one pound, 10 ounces. Now that's, remember, that's ounces, right? 10 ounces. It's not 1.10 pounds, because that means something different. It's one pound, 10 ounces, uh, 16 ounces being a pound, okay? So, uh, and then when you, when you load it up, the weight jumps up to uh, two pounds, six ounces, okay? Versus the, G, the 1911, Unloaded, it starts off heavier, two pounds six ounces, right? But then it because it takes a, a smaller magazine with um, with only eight rounds. When you throw the magazine in there, the weight only goes up a little bit, so uh, it only goes up to two pounds thirteen 
ounces, right? So in, in the end, uh, the, 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 the weight difference between these two is not tremendous. Uh, it's only about seven, seven ounces. Uh, the, the big difference, of course, being the distribution of the weight with the G21, right up here, more of your weight is in ammunition uh, versus, uh, you know, versus the, the frame of the gun, okay? Uh, then uh, for comparison's sake, we got the G22, um, unloaded one pound, five ounces, all right? And then loaded um, it uh, one pound, 15 ounces, okay? All right, so that's, and then uh, below the G17, uh, one pound, six ounces, unloaded, and then one pound, 15 ounces uh, when it's loaded. Now, interesting, the G17 and the G22, right, even though the G17 started out a little bit heavier, and that has to do with the, with the, um, uh, with the slide, I'll show you guys in a minute, uh, when in the end, they came out to exactly the same. Um, and, and effectively speaking, you could just call them the same, right? you know, um, there's going to be a minor difference. Uh, I'll show you right now, right now what the difference was, just so that we know what we're talking about. Here, let me put you back on the. Um, so taking a closer look at the, the G22, which is a 40 cal, versus the G17. The this one has got more cuts in the in, in the slide, so that's why this gun basically started out lighter at one pound five ounces. Versus the G17 here, that started out uh, one pound six ounces. So this started out an ounce heavier. Uh, so I think the extra weight is a combination in that there's less cuts in the slide. And also this aftermarket frame, um, because of the Picatinny rail over here, uh, I think it's just got just a tad bit more plastic on the frame versus the um, the factory, uh, the, the, the Glock factory frame. Okay, But anyway, it, it's such a small difference that we can... Pretty much call this Glock 22 and this Glock 17 uh, same weight, both loaded and unloaded. Um, now with the 1911, this is the only gun that doesn't have an optic on it. Okay, so uh, obviously if I, if I had an optic on this, um, so this is the loaded. This is the heaviest gun here, even though it doesn't feel like the heaviest gun here. It is that you know because of the way the the balance is set up on this, but. Um, this comes in at two pounds, 13 ounces. Uh, this would probably go up a couple of ounces if I had an optic on this. I considered putting an optic on this, uh, but basically I'd have to get it. I'd, ha I'd have to send it out to get cut, to get cut. And they want $200 just to cut this. Uh, and then I don't know how good of a job they're going to do. Uh, and then there's an issue of what optic am I going to put on here? You know, because it's a thinner slide. Would I have to put a micro optic on here? So there's just so many unknowns. I considered getting um, a pre-cut slide, you know, just buying a pre-cut slide. But then the thing is, with 1911s, they're kind of like, you know, they're not like Glocks where everything's just dropping. You have to fit the parts, right? The, you got to fit the bushing to the barrel. So that's that's the reason why, well, actually, that's part of the reason why I ended up doing the, the, G20, the G21 here. Because I wanted a, a 45 ACP. With an optic, right? Because sh shooting is a scene thing. I've said this before. The scene part is the most important part, and the optic helps me see better and sh you know shoot better. So that's why this takes such high priority. Okay, it, pretty much every gun that I buy that anybody should buy should be optic ready. Um, so the other reason why I built this is, you know, uh, quite simply, Biden said not to build these. So I said, hey, that means I gotta build them. So. I, after I built so many G17s and and 19s and 26, I said, "What else can I build?" Oh, I haven't done. I don't have any uh, any G21s. So let's do a G21. So that's the only reason why I really I have a G21 really. Uh, but it was very interesting because when I picked this up, I did not ex you know empty. I did not expect this to be so top heavy, right? Because the G17 doesn't feel so top heavy. Uh, but all of a sudden, you know, when you throw in that bigger barrel, right, because having a bigger barrel here also means that the slide around the barrel is going to be bigger. Okay. So all of a sudden, so, so that's, that's going to make, and the other thing is, you know, the, 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 the slides, the barrel's bigger, the slide's bigger, but the, the Glock design is squarish. So if you look at a 1911, right, you got a, you got a, a round 45, uh, barrel. 
but the slide is round. There's no corners on the slide. So that, that so not having corners is a reduction in like surface area. There's less there's less material on this slide just because it's round um, as compared <laughs> To the to the G21 because it's squared. Um, these corners here, right? They add extra weight. So uh, so if it didn't have these cuts, all these cuts, this, this thing would be even heavier. Uh, so that, that's that's really interesting. Just so th that is the main part why I wanted to do this video because when you build this, you're like, wow, this feels like a really heavy gun, but it's not heavier than your 1911. Uh, it's just that the weight distribution is different, and the gun, but once you put the magazine in there, right, the 13 round magazine, though the extra ammunition that you have here balances the gun out. <laughs> so once you load both of these guns up, like now holding them in my hand, they, they pretty much feel the same. I mean, there is a, a small difference. The 1911 is seven ounces heavier. But I mean, to my hand right now, I, I, I really can't feel a difference. Like, you know, I, I can just pretty much say that they feel the same, okay? So it's not until you load, you fully load your magazine that you can, that, that the gun feels the way it's supposed to feel. All right, so that, that was extremely interesting to me. Um, take this out. Take this out. So, uh, put this guy back where it belongs in this, in this order. <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fire um, five rounds out of each of these guns in my left hand, one-handed, okay? The reason why I'm doing it in my, because I'm normally right-handed, I'm doing it in my left hand uh, so you guys can, can pay attention to the recoil, right? You'll be able to see it better uh, if I'm holding it one-handed. You'll see how much movement there is. And we're going to go down the line and we're looking for a, a difference in recoil. Or, or difference in movement, which, which may or may not be noticeable. If it's not noticeable in the video, then it's not noticeable. That means, you know, it's not. If not, if I'm not coming offline, um, that you know, that, that's what I. That's the ideal situation, right? Where I'm shooting the gun and it's not coming offline. All right. So we're gonna start with the Glock 21. Let's lock the gun open. All right, so we're not, we're not, I'm not going to load the whole magazine. I'm just going to do five rounds. This way I can quickly go down the line and you guys can compare, quickly compare one to the other. Rather, if I fire too many shots, you kind of forget what happened earlier, okay? So, so you guys are in the camera there. That should be good right there. All right. So, you know what? I lost count. I got a little trigger happy with that. The gun is fun to shoot. I actually forgot I was only doing five rounds. I don't even know how many I shot. Alright, let's do the 1911 traditional iron sights now. I don't shoot this too often anymore. I think I can still hit the target. Definitely not as many hits. Optics definitely make a difference. Right, unload this gun. I did put the safety on, but let's just completely unload it. Oh shit, I went through all eight shots. I'm really not doing a very good job of counting rounds today. This feels so much lighter. After you hold those guns and you pick this up, it's like, wow, this is a light gun. All right, this is the, the this is the Glock 22. All right, we did the 20 the, the G21, we did 1911. Now we're doing the uh, Glock 22. That's got a factory. Basically, everything's factory on this, with the exception of the slide. I mean, the barrels factory. Um, I I basically I, I wanted to put get an optic on this gun, and um, I considered I, I considered doing a uh, you know uh, uh, an aftermarket frame. But I, there's been some reports about of these 
aftermarket frames cracking when with the 40 cals because basically the if you're gonna build a um, an, an aftermarket uh, 40 cal it goes on a 17 frame that, that's just how Glock designed it so there's, there's been a few cases of these cracking so that's the reason why I decided to just stick with the with the with the with the factory Glock frame on this all I did was just change the slide uh, let's get some pits over there see how this works Recoil kind of felt safe to me, um, quite honestly. Now, uh, that shouldn't be too surprising because the 40 cal actually has more energy, all right? Um, that's one of the reasons why a lot of times I say uh, 45 ACP, you're giving up a lot of rounds and actually giving up energy compared to, um, you know, using a 40 cal, you know? So the 40 cal has more energy than the, than the 45 ACP. All right, let's do the... Um, with the nine millimeter, much like I mean, you can noticeably feel that the recoil was lighter on this. And you could also notice that we see that I was shooting faster. I wanted to shoot faster. I mean, I did get one miss in that string, but um, it, it definitely, the gun, the, the, the nine millimeter, right? D17 definitely, definitely lends itself more to the boom, 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 boom. You know, um, when I moved, when I was shooting the other guns, I kind of had to shoot slower because every time I fired, the gun was jumping around a little bit more. This gun was definitely a lot easier to control easier to get on target um i'm gonna pause the camera i'm gonna throw some more rounds in these magazines and this time i'm gonna try and go down the line without saying anything because i realized that i didn't do the thing i was as i said i was gonna do which was uh shoot without <laughs> without interruption so let me let me pause this and let me put some more bullets in these magazines okay so i got i got four rounds in each magazine i'm just gonna try and speed shoot this right down the line one after the other you guys pay attention to the muzzle, see how much it moves. I thought I sucked in the nine, but I was a little bit off. But anyway, um, as far as the recall, between uh, the Glock 22, uh, 1911, Glock, uh, no, sorry, Glock 21, 1911, Glock 22. So we got 245, 140 cal. I, I'm going to say that there's really no difference in the recall. I mean, you know, depending on how I'm feeling at the particular moment, one may feel more than the other. But when I get to the when I get to the uh, the nine millimeter, definite difference there. Even though my concentration was a little bit off and I got some misses on that last one over there, uh, generally I, I I'm gonna uh, I get more hits with the um, you know with the um, what do you call it with, that, with the glass, with the 17 shooting the nine millimeter. Get a couple more. Um, and again, if you pay attention to how much the gun moves, that's what's really going to give you the, you know, because I know that I was just trying to concentrate on moving down the line and 
making sure the guns were unloaded that I think I lost my concentration on that last one. But anyway, uh, there it is. You guys can do whatever you want with the information. Uh, interpret it any way you like. Um, um, you know, hope you guys enjoyed the video. But like I said, the main reason why I did this video is when you pick up this, and now it's more balanced, but it's, it's actually when you open it up, it's a lot more balanced. It's interesting, when you close it, yeah, all the weight goes to the front. So when you have a, when the gun's empty, the, the G21 feels way front heavy, whereas the G9, whereas the 1911 feels more balanced. However, when you load both guns up, all that balances out. So. Very interesting. Uh, like I said, this is initial impressions because the G21 is is new to me, right? That's my first G21, first time shooting any shooting a pistol in 45 ATP other than 1911. 1911 is are really the only guns I have shot. But I, have, I have extensive practice with uh, using 45 ACP. So that's my first G21. In a couple of months, I might do another video and let you know what I think at that point or if my opinions change or if my experience has changed so um keep following the channel uh so, you know i get a lot of fun doing these videos for you guys if you're not a member of the channel subscribe um also find me on odyssey which is an uncensored channel that's o-d-y-s-e-e -E, odyssey.com that's uh, uh just it's another it's a youtube alternative and my channel name over there is pocono tactical thanks for watching i'll talk to you soon